Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add hundreds of free icons to your Affinity Designer. This method will also work with Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher. Alright, so here's our secret. We're going to use Font Awesome free icon set. They are free for commercial use, so that's great for us. So simply head to fontawesome.com and then we're going to download the whole package and then I will show you how you can add this into the asset panel directly. All right, so let's scroll down. As you can see, they offer multiple sets. Some of them are free, some of them are premium, but today we're going to get the classic free set. So let's go for downloads at the very bottom. And from here we can select version 6, the newest one, the last version. And we want the version for desktop. And they offer pro and free. So let's go with free. So we get a little bit less fonts, but less icons, sorry, but it's completely free. And they are SVGs, so they're scalable vectors. As you can see, it's download a zip file. So I'm going to unzip this on my computer and then I will jump into Affinity Designer. Okay, here I am in the blank document. We will need asset panel for this. So let's go over here, up, window and we need to turn on assets. As you can see here, it got some old assets I used in the previous project. So let's create a brand new category for Font Awesome icons, all right? So we'll click here and create new category. All right, okay, and we got this brand new category. Now, we're going to use a trick. We don't need to drag those icons one by one or put them into the project first. We can just drag and drop the whole folder. So take a look. All right, after you unzip the file, you will see there are three folders. We want the SVGs folder and inside this SVG folder, there's three more folders. All right, so brands is the first one. We want to drag those brands into our assets all right so let's do just that drag and drop on assets and let's load the whole folder here and all icons are already inside the best part is they're all vectors so if i drag and drop this paypal logo i can quickly recolor that scale or even use a node tool to modify a vector structure of it. So that's really nice. All right, let's drag two more folders. I can get rid of this one. Okay, we got brands, regular icons, and solid icons. Just like that, just drag and drop the whole folder in your asset window. Solid icons here. You can drag and drop whatever you need to use them. They will be shared across all three apps and across all of your projects because we add them to asset panel. Just need to call for the asset panel and select this category. All right. And the best part is they all are named very nicely. So let's say I need a Facebook icon logo. I can just type in the search box and it's showing me that we got four different icons in the brand. And also it's showing me some face icons in other groups. So you can also search that stuff from the search box. PayPal, right? What else can we search? If I search for something like banking, take a look. He found this one icon that got bank in the name. We got little piggy bank. All right. So you can also use the search box above. Or of course, you can manually go through them. But keep in mind, it's a lot of icons to go through. 
and as I mentioned, they are all SVGs and we can add them very quickly to our asset panel completely free to use in our future projects. Super handy, especially on an iPad. All right, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.